Hello friends, welcome to Bunny's Bite. Today we will be making aloo paratha. This is a simple recipe to make and one that you will want to eat over and over again. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more tasty dishes. Also, this is a 2-in-1 recipe. We will be showing you how to make aloo paratha and a mystery side dish. First, you need to make the dough. To do this, get a bowl and add 1 cup of wheat flour, a pinch of salt and half a cup of warm water. Knead to form a dough. The dough should be fairly soft. Then put this aside for at least half an hour so that it becomes soft. Now let's make the stuffing. First, mash the potatoes and put them in a bowl. Next, add the grated onions, turmeric, salt, coriander powder, coriander, garam masala, and red chili powder. Just like with the dough, Mix it together until well combined. Then roll the dough and divide it into small dough balls. Now dust the dough balls and the work surface with some flour. The dough should be rolled to about a quarter centimeter thickness. So it should be fairly thick. Once you've rolled it, take a spoonful of stuffing and roll it into a ball. The stuffing should be the same size as the dough ball. And seal the dough ball. When rolling it, make sure to keep flipping the parathas on both sides. Don't apply too much pressure, otherwise the stuffing may fall out. Finally, put the rolled paratha on a hot pan at medium-high flame. If you want, you can add ghee or butter on both sides whilst flipping. Flip the parathas regularly until it turns golden brown. Your paratha is now ready to eat. Or is it? Hi guys, this is the mystery side dish. Coconut raita. First, in a small bowl, add the grated coconut, finely chopped coriander, green chili and ginger paste, salt, and curd. Mix it all together. Then heat a pan on medium flame. In it add one tablespoon of oil, uradal, cumin seeds, mustard seeds and red chilies and a handful of curry leaves. Saute them well. The mustard seeds will start jumping, so that means it's done. Pour the tempered spices into the raita bowl. Now, the dishes are ready to eat. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know what you guys think of this recipe in the comment section below. Yummy!